Chase and Dana, these words from the Apostle Paul describe the unique way the love of God binds people to one another. And what a joy, what a blessing it is for all of us gathered here today to be able to share this joy with you and to offer our prayers and support. You know, for Christian people, God's love in Christ Jesus is the perfect model for marriage. And for Jesus' sake, God loves and accepts us unconditionally. And it is that same self-sacrificing, unconditional love that will allow peace of Christ to dwell in your home. That love is a gift. And you have received that gift as you've experienced compassion and kindness and meekness and patience in one another. And you've also learned to love from the support and encouragement of friends and family. You've learned what it means to love as you've seen and experienced it in parents and grandparents and those who nurtured you since childhood. You've witnessed their good times and their bad times and their joys and their sorrows and through it all you've experienced God's love which not only endures but grows. And so Dana and Chase, that's our prayer for you today. Chase and Dana, if it is your intention to share with each other your joys and your sorrows and all that the years will bring, with your promises, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. I would ask you to face one another. I take you, Dana, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. And to the end, I pledge to you my faithfulness. I take you, Chase, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. And to the end, I pledge you my faithfulness. And if you would face the assembly, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chase Kane. On behalf of Tina and Mike and Gary and I, we just want to say that we are um, so proud. We're excited for your future, and we're excited that we're going to be a part of it. And um, we are truly blessed that you are our babies. So please raise your glasses for our toast as parents. May, may the love that you have in your eyes today always shine this bright. May the dreams that you have today always be this big. So there's three things as a big sister that I've always wanted for Dana in her life, and that's to feel happy, protected, and loved. Dana and Chase have truly found something very special in one another, and it's been a really privilege to be a part of their lives. I can't wait to continue our journey as our families grow with my forever traveling buddy, even though Dana always thinks we're going to get kidnapped on vacation. Dad's going to have to come find us. So here's Dana and Chase. Their relationship started with a drink. So let's raise ours and toast to them. We love you guys. When you breathe, I hear the angels sigh. And when you sleep, and I will hold you through the night. Love will be the frame in every second of our day. So
has begun And with you Our hearts beat as one And I will be with you Forever And this love